All right, we're going to look at just number 13. Number 13 was kind of a challenge problem. We won't ever have anything quite this hard on quizzes, um, but I thought I'd just go through it because some of you tried it, so I want you to see if you got it right. So if we look through here, we're just going to count this as a resistor. In an actual battery, we do lose some um, voltage within the battery, um, and that's what this little, it's actually battery resistance. Each wire actually kind of has resistance, but we ignore it as much as we can. EMF is just voltage, okay, so it's just another way of saying it. So I'm going to redraw this circuit of the battery. This one is in series. Then we hit a parallel. Comes around. Resistor 5 is going to be in series again. If we look through here, here's a series within the parallel. So it's like we have three levels. So I'm just going to redraw those circuits, and then we'll work our way back. So we're going to have resistor 1. We're going to go through, and we're going to combine this resistor 2, 3. And then we're just going to have resistor 4 out here. And then we're going to come back in and, oops, don't forget, little resistor 5. I'm going to use capital R instead of this little case R. <coughs> so we simplified it a little bit. We have these two in series, but we still have these two in parallel. So we're going to go a little bit farther. And I'm going to redraw this one. So I'm going to have resistor 1. And then I'm going to combine these two together, which is actually 3. Don't forget resistor 5 this time. And so this is resistor 2, 3. Okay. And then I'm going to solve for kind of just everything as we go through. Now here, we had to solve for resistor 2, 3. They were in series with each other. Remember resistor 2 and 3. Okay, Resistor 2 was 2 ohms. Resistor 3 was 4 ohms. So this is just equal to resistor 2 plus resistor 3, which is just 2 ohms plus the 4 ohms. And so this is just equal to 6 ohms. All right. Oops, I don't want to take that. Now we're combining resistor 2, 3, 4. So resistor 2, 3, 4 is now parallel. Resistor 4 is in parallel with 2, 3. So this is just equal to resistor 4 to the negative 1 plus resistor 2, 3 to the negative 1, all of it to the negative 1, which is the same as resistor 4, which if we look back at our original paper was 6 ohms. Okay. I'm not going to put the units every time just because it gets the paper a little bit cluttered. I think you can see better if I don't. And then resistor 2, 3. Oh, we found that was 6 ohms as well. And all that to negative 1. And so now if we put that into our calculator, we just have 6 to the negative 1 plus 6 to the negative 1 quantity to the negative 1. And we get 3. Okay? And so resistance 2, 3, 4 is just 3 ohms. Now what that helps, so I'm going to write some of these things in here. So resistance uh, 5 was my internal. That was 1 ohm. Resistor 1 was 4 ohms, and our resistor 2, 3, 4, we just found out was 3 ohms. We know my voltage was that original 24 volts. Now from here, I'm just going to kind of solve the stuff I know. I know from here that I'm going to have a current coming out of here, which is the current coming out of the battery. It's going to go through resistor 1, it's going to go through resistor 2, 3, 4, and it's going to go through resistor 5. So if I can find that total current, I can find... Um, Oh, I'm sorry, if I can find the total resistance, I can find the total current. Okay? So the total current is just going to be the total voltage over the total resistance. So I need to go find that total resistance. So resistance total is just resistor 1 plus resistor 5, right over here, plus this resistor 2, 3, 4 that we just found. So that's just equal to 4 plus 1 plus 3, which is going to be 8 ohms. And now I can come down here and I can solve this because we knew this was 24 volts. Okay, we know the resistance total was 8 ohms, so I know my total current is 3 amps. So coming out of here, we have 3 amps. So going through resistor 1, I have 3 amps. Coming through resistor 5, I have 3 amps. Going through this combination 2, 3, 4, I also have 3 amps. Okay? If I go back, I can go all the way back to the beginning now, and I know the current total from 1 and 5 because they don't change. I've never changed how those look throughout any of them. It's all going to be 3 amps. Now this guy over here, I can solve for the voltage on each spot, right? So let's do voltage in a different color here so I can keep track of everything. So let's do voltage on 1. Well, voltage on 1 is just going to be current through 1 times the resistance at 1. Well, we know that's the 3 amps, and that's going to be times the resistance of 4 ohms. And so we're going to get a voltage of 12 volts. 
we know the voltage on 5 over here is just going to be the current at 5 times the resistance at 5, which is still that 3 amps, and now the resistance is just 1 ohm. So that's 3 volts. Now we can find the voltage on 2, 3, 4, because we're going to need that to go back. Okay, It's not actually on any individual resistor, because we kind of broke them up into their individual parts. But it's still the same thing. It's the current 2, 3, 4, which is again that 3 amps, times the resistance of 2, 3, 4, which was 3 ohms. So it's still the 3 amps, and now it's times the 3 ohms, and so it's 9 volts. And if we look, 12 plus 3 plus 9, that's the 24 we should have. So we're all good. Okay? So now let's start working our way back. Okay? I'm going to write some of these things down, though. Because we know the current through 1 is 3 amps. We know the current through 5 is 3 amps. So I'm just writing down all the stuff we know for the individuals. We don't care about the total or the little combined ones yet. We're going to figure that out. And then we knew that the total was also 3 amps. Okay? So now let's jump back to this next one. We're going to take what we learned 2, 3, 4 to try to divide them back up because we want to know what's happening in resistor 4. All right? I just said the voltage at 2, 3, 4, the voltage from here to here is 9 volts. Oops, I'll get it all on the paper. The voltage from here to here is 9 volts. Well, resistor 2, 3, 4 is basically in parallel, right? He kind of sits in here. So if that's 9 volts across there, in parallel, everything's the same. So I know from here to here, I have 9 volts. So now the voltage on 4 is 9 volts. I know the voltage 2, 3 is also 9 volts. Will that help me? Maybe later. We'll put them down over here. Okay, if I know the voltage at 4, well, look, I know the resistance at 4, right? Resistance at 4 was 6 ohms, right? We wrote that down here somewhere. Okay, so I can find the current at 4 because the current is just voltage divided by resistance. We've done that before down here. So the current is 4, it's just the voltage at 4, resistance at 4. We just said the voltage at 4 was going to be 9. The resistance at 4, we read from way up here. Resistance at 4 was 6. And so my current through there is 9 divided by 6, which is going to be 1 point, what, 1 point, 1 and a half, right? Let's check it. Whew. Sometimes my math gets a little crazy in my head, so I just want to make sure. But I think 9 divided by 6 is 1 and a half. Yes, it is. Okay, so we have 1.5 amps. So looky there. So we know right here we've got 3 amps. And then coming back through here, we have 3 amps. Well, that's going to split. Oh, looky there. What happened? If we have 1.5 amps going this way, how many amps do we have to be going through 2, 3? Well, it's going to divide up. 3, 1.5 went that way. What's got to go the other way? So the current through 2, 3 has got to be 1.5 amps. We could have solved that this way, too. The voltage is 9. What was the resistance to 3? 6. 9 divided by 6, 1.5. So either way, we found that current. Okay? So we've kind of been finding everything. Now let's go back to our original thing that we had back here. In this original, these two resistors were in series. What do we know about this series? As we're going across, we knew that there's 9 volts all the way across that branch. We know that there's 1.5 amps of current, because if it's going through this branch, it's got to go through both of those things. So we know the current through 2 is 1.5 amps. That means we know the current through 3 is 1.5 amps. Now what's the only thing left we really don't know? We know 9 volts across both, but we don't know across individually. But we know that the voltage at 2 is the current at 2 times the resistor at 2. And the voltage at 3 is the current at 3 times the resistance at 3. Well, the current is 1.5 through both of them. Okay, and we're going to take that and multiply it by the resistance of 2, which was 2. Okay, so we have 1.5 times 2, which is going to be 3 volts. Oh, what do we think this one's going to be? If it's 9 across both and we have 3 there, we're guessing this one's going to be 6, but we can check it. So it's 1.5 times resistor 3. Resistor 3 was 4. All you get, 6 volts. So it worked out like we thought. So I think we have solved every single voltage, current, and resistance throughout. We knew all the resistors, but we know the voltage at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, 
get it all up here so we can see where I'm pointing. Barely fits. I gotta zoom out a little bit. Right? So we knew the voltage at 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is sometimes where that table helps. And we also know the voltage total. Okay? The current. Let's look at our current. We know the current at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and total. We know all the currents. And we already knew all the resistors. So we're kind of done. So now we can fill out a little table. What's the current through R2? Okay? So we might not have had to solve everything. Current through 2 is 1.5 amps. Okay? 1.5 amps. What is the voltage through 4? Look for V4. Where's V4? 9 volts. How much power? Ooh, we haven't talked about power much, but if we talk about it a little bit at one point, it's so simple. We don't hardly even look at it. Power is current times voltage. Well, we have the current and voltage everywhere. We can find the power everywhere. So power at 1 is just current at 1 times voltage at 1. Well, the current at 1, where's current at 1, was 3 amps. So this is just going to be equal to 3 amps. What was the voltage at 1? Voltage at 1 was 12 volts. So we're going to get 36 watts. Okay, 3 times 12. And what is the voltage produced by the battery? Now this is one, this is one we're going to throw out, basically. Because, remember I told you, battery is not going to get all 24 volts, right? Some of that 24 volts is just right here. I mean, it's all of the 24 volts is just right there. But some of it gets lost here at resistor 5, doesn't it? What was the voltage at 5? Voltage 5 was 3 volts. Look, we lost 3 volts. It's stuck there, so nobody else gets to see it. So if I measure from here to here, it's kind of like we're going to lose that coming out because resistor 5 took some of it. Okay? But really for this class... We're going to say 24 volts. But in actuality, it's more like 21 volts that we might see. Okay? Don't worry about that one. And that's pretty much it.